Are you ready to make some cornbread? I am. Whenever I make cornbread, the most important part of it is heating up your skillet with a little bit of oil so that you get that crispy crunch on the outside that is so delicious. So I have some melted coconut oil here. Just put a tablespoon into your pan and then heat it up in a 400 degree oven until you're ready to fill up with cornbread batter. That's gonna get nice and hot. While that heats up, you can start to make your cornbread, right? So I'm gonna put some ingredients in here that may or may not shock you. This is one and a half cups of cornmeal. You can use yellow or white. I don't have um, a preference, really. A half a cup of all-purpose flour. I have baking soda, two teaspoons, a baking soda, and then a teaspoon of salt. Just whisk that all up together. Or stir it if you just have a spatula. Now it's time to do the wet ingredients. So, get another bowl. You put in one and a quarter cups of buttermilk. Your remaining coconut oil, listen. If you're not into coconut oil, you can totally use melted butter or vegetable oil. It's totally fine. I just like the flavor of coconut oil. I also like the texture it gives to the cornbread. A little sugar and an egg. Mix that all up together, and then we're gonna pour our liquid into our dry. So growing up, we had cornbread all of the time. And one of the things that I love about eating cornbread all the time is that you kind of learn to make it using whatever you have on hand. And so that's why sometimes our cornbread had flour in it. Sometimes it didn't have flour in it. Sometimes it was made with yellow cornmeal. Sometimes it was made with white cornmeal. Sometimes we made it with whole wheat flour in it. And because I like it with literally everything, I like cornbread and chili. I like it with my beans. I like cornbread on the side of my plate when I'm eating meatloaf. And you can see that baking soda already starting to work. You're also gonna notice that I put some sugar in there. Now, there's a big debate in the South about sugar and cornbread, right? Traditionally, we did not eat sugar and cornbread when I was a little kid. But I'm a grown up now and I can put sugar in it because I like to eat it with milk for breakfast. I'm gonna show you that in a second, but first I gotta get my pan. Whew. Be careful, y'all. It's gonna be real hot, okay? So you can see there's a little bit of liquid in there, liquid oil in there. Now, scoop that cornbread into that pan. That looks beautiful. And it's gonna start immediately to cook because that pan is already hot. Just give it a little bit of a smooth out. Back into your 400 degree oven until the center you insert a toothpick, it comes out clean, and the top is nice and golden brown. That's about 20 to 25 minutes. Whoa! Whew, cast iron skillets are heavy. Okay, now we just have to wait for it to bake. Okay, let's get that cornbread. Oof. I really should hit the gym a little bit more or maybe just use skillets as my weights. Okay, so got on my lips. Got it. Beautiful cornbread. And you could stop there. You could just serve this next to chili or in um, next to some pinto beans. But my very, very favorite way to eat cornbread is with milk. What, you might ask? Well, growing up, when we had leftover cornbread, we would eat it the next morning in a cup with milk, like it was cereal. This reminds me of my dad. This was his fix-all, like whenever you had a, um, you got a bad grade at school, or I got in trouble with my mom, or a boy dumped me, my dad would make me cornbread and milk, and it has this magical way of solving all problems. I drizzle a little honey on it too, don't worry. It doesn't hurt a single thing. You can also do it with sorghum if you're into sorghum, which I totally am. A little bit of sweet milk on there. Just take your spoon and insert it into all the gooey deliciousness. The honey gets soaked up into the cornbread. Okay, y'all. That's it. I've got eating to do. Mmm.